Ever felt like your personal space is a battleground and everyone's vying for a piece of your peace? It's a common struggle, isn't it? Now, imagine this you caught in the midst of it all. But fear not, we're delving into this together. If you're watching this video till now, then don't skip. Father has something to tell you today. Their people, under the influence of Satan, are hell-bent on violating you. So, who or what is causing the encroachment? Can the feeling of encroachment be avoided or mitigated, and what promise did the Father do for you in this situation? Your angel understand that feeling encroached upon can lead to a range of consequences, both emotional and practical. Emotionally, it might result in stress, anxiety, or a sense of overwhelm. It could strain relationships and hinder personal well-being. On a practical level, it might impact decision-making, productivity, and the ability to set and maintain boundaries. But Father says today that I am establishing your borders and your boundaries. You may feel encroached upon by others and taken advantage of, but know this, beloved. No man or circumstance determines what happens to you next. I am sovereign in your life, and at the end of the day, as you put your trust in me, you will come forth as fine gold. Along with this promise of your father, you must need to understand the underlying reasons for this encroachment. Encroachment often stems from a combination of factors. It could be a result of unclear personal boundaries, where individuals may not assert their limits effectively. External pressures, such as societal expectations or workplace demands, can also contribute. Understanding these underlying reasons is crucial for addressing and preventing future instances of encroachment. For this, Father says many influences would seek to trespass against my promises over you. But fear not. I will cause you to rule and reign over all man's contradictions. I will take all those contrary situations and bring Satan shortly under your feet. My anointing on you and in you will rise up and go out to cause a rooting up and pulling down of every enemy stronghold. Adding to the promise of Father, you must recognize self-awareness is paramount in addressing encroachment. It involves recognizing one's feelings, understanding personal boundaries, and identifying the sources of stress. Through self-awareness, individuals can develop strategies to communicate their boundaries effectively, navigate challenges, and prioritize their well-being. Here's the twist. Your story is far from ordinary. It's infused with divine interventions, unseen forces shaping a narrative that goes beyond the surface. Intriguing, isn't it? Behind these encroachments, perhaps, lie hidden meanings. These struggles might just be stepping stones, paving the path to something greater, something transformative. Now, my friend, it's time to seize control. Your narrative is not dictated by external forces. It's a tale that unfolds as you navigate through challenges, emerging stronger each time. Those encroachments? They might just be the universe's way of preparing you for unexpected blessings. Embrace the unknown. Positivity is on the horizon. Take a moment to reflect amid the struggles. What opportunities lie hidden? It's in these moments of challenge that you can discover your inner strength. You're not just resilient. You're a warrior. Your journey is a testament to your strength, and the best chapters are yet to unfold. As the narrative unfolds, the suspense of what's next keeps us hooked. Life's journey is an ongoing story, and your unique turns are yet to be revealed. In every struggle, there's a hidden lesson. It's about learning, growing, and evolving. Embrace the challenges. They're sculpting you into a better version of yourself. So, my friend, buckle up. Your narrative is still being written, and the best chapters might be just around the corner. Life's a story in progress, 
and yours is bound to be an epic tale. Now, Father promised to you end with saying the rooting up will come to destroy the adversary's work, and building up and establishing will take place regarding what I have promised and planted in your life. Yes, there are some things that I'm going to build, and there are some that I will plant. That which I build will be that concrete blessing installed up in your life as a wall and a defense against the enemy's advance against you. Within that which I build, there shall be blessing, provision, and protection over those things, and those concerns in your heart that you purposely and by faith commit to me. I am planting, says the Father. That which I plant will not die, but will begin to grow. At first, it's going to look like bare ground, but then it is going to be the ear, then the stalk, then the full corn in the ear, and then the harvest. You will see in your land the seed fruit harvest of my goodness. Be faithful to plant. Be faithful to sow. Here are some direct words and a promise from the Father. This message holds ancient wisdom, giving you the keys to unlock the secrets of your soul. The Father says today in your life, it is time for a decree. It is the hour to let your mouth declare and decree some things you've been believing for. As you declare and decree a thing, says God, it will come to pass because in your decree, you are coming into agreement with my heart and what I've had planned for you all along. The things you are asking are in my heart. Don't question or wonder about this. I want you to have a settled answer in your inner man about my unswerving determination to give you the desires of your heart. Know that in the asking there is a demonstration. You are going to see a demonstration of what I am bringing to pass in the near future. It will be as the earnest of a fresh inheritance and the down payment of my unfolding goodness. I want you to believe him, to open your mouth and pray over, prophesy over other people as well, because this is a gift of my spirit that's locked up on the inside of you, and it is even now breaking open and being called forth my gifts, my callings, that's been in you and with you throughout your Life for there without repentance. Words of transformation are coming. There are words of encouragement, edification, and exhortation out of, because that is the inherent nature of my prophetic voice on the inside of you. There are words of wisdom bubbling up, words of knowledge on the inside of you for I purpose, says God. And I am determined to use you as an example of my goodness and my kindness and my kind, my kind can instilled in the inside of you. I will speak through you and perform signs, miracles and signs through you on a day-to-day -day basis. I will even show you some things in the times to come and you are going to sit back and relax, enjoy and laugh because you know that it's a direct result of believing my word and allowing me to use you in a radical way, says God. So, believe in the Lord your God and my establishing will establish you. Believe my prophets and surely, surely you are going to prosper. Take it to the bank that I'm going to use you in the future and these little things that you're feeling after, as you sense to feel, you listen to hear, you are just tracking the Holy Spirit. And he said, I'm pleased to bring to pass in full in your life and the lives of those around you. Have you ever felt the world around you teeming with untold promises, just waiting for the moment you speak your heart's deepest desires? Imagine your words transforming into decrees each syllable resonating with the very heart of the universe, aligning your dreams with the cosmos. Picture this, my dear friend, as you breathe life into your declarations. You enter into a profound covenant with the Creator Himself. 
your desires, the very ones that have been etched into the tapestry of your soul, are mirrored in the heart of the divine. There's no room for doubt or questioning, for within you resides an unwavering faith in God's unrelenting resolve to bring your heart's desires to fruition. In this act of asking, a grand spectacle is unveiled. The near future unfolds like the first chapter of a thrilling novel, a down payment on the benevolence the universe is yet to bestow upon you. You, my friend, are destined to be a living testament to God's grace and his goodness, a vessel through which his profound transformations are to be wrought. Now, here's where it gets truly exciting. The dawn of profound wisdom, the outpouring of edifying words, and the gifts of knowledge are gushing forth from the wellspring of your being. You're becoming an embodiment of God's compassion, kindness, and an eloquent voice for his love. Prepare yourself for daily miracles, for your words shall bear fruits that resonate in hearts far and wide. Take it to heart, my friend, that God's promise is your foundation, his prophets, your guiding stars. Prosperity is yours for the taking. The Holy Spirit is tracking with you, leading the way to the fulfillment of your life's purpose. So, Believe in the boundless potential your faith carries for a glorious tomorrow awaits you. As you feel, hear, and embrace the divine presence, you're becoming an instrument of God's radiant love. And you, my dear friend, are the architect of your destiny. Curious to discover more life-changing insights like these? Then dive right into our next video. It's a journey you won't want to miss. Click on the video 